who will say, well, I don't want anything to do with religion because it is full of hypocrites. But you must understand that Jesus Christ never came to establish a religion. He came to establish his kingdom in the hearts of men and women. That's what he came to do. And if you read the Bible for yourself, you will see that Jesus Christ condemned the religious people of his day for being hypocrites, for not telling the truth about God, for placing far too much emphasis on trivial things and paying no attention to the important things like justice and mercy, the things that we know God really stands for. So Jesus condemned the religious people of his day as hypocrites and liars. And in turn, they sought to have him murdered. So to say that religion and trusting in Jesus are the same thing is completely false. Because Jesus condemned the religious people of his day. And no doubt he would condemn many of the religious people of our day. Jesus Christ represents God. He doesn't represent any religious institution or organization. So I'm here today to preach to you not about religion, but about Jesus Christ. About having spiritual life within yourself. So if your objection is because religious people are hypocrites, I agree with you and I want nothing to do with them. I only want to have something to do with Jesus who died on the cross for humanity. The Jesus who came and had compassion on the poor and on those who were in distress who came to save them. If you trust in him today, you give him your life, he can save you today. He can save you from sin and darkness and set you free. But if you reject him today, God will reject you. Because he sent Jesus to save you. Perhaps another objection you might have in your, your own mind is that, well, God is love. Doesn't the Bible say that? So God isn't going to punish me if I do something wrong because the Bible says he loves me. If God is love, then nobody is going to be punished. Only everybody is going to go to heaven. Well, if you believe that to be true, if you believe that God is love, then should you not respond to that love and that mercy? If you had an earthly father who was kind and loving and cared for you, would it not be right that you in turn love him? Or at least listen to what he has to say? So who is going to listen to what God's got to say today? Do you not realize that God is also a righteous judge? Do you not understand that if you continue in your sin, he will punish you? He has to! because he is a righteous judge. If you continue in sin, you will spend eternity in hell. God doesn't want you to go there. That's why he made a way for you through Jesus Christ. Jesus shed his blood on the cross so that you might be saved. All of you. And if you put your trust in him now, he will save you right here, right now, today. So nothing to do with religion, okay? Forget that idea. It's a false concept. Nothing to do with what the Bible says Jesus is about. Jesus is about life. Spiritual life. So that you can know God and you can no longer be enslaved to your sins. All those things that you do that you know in your heart are wrong. Why do you do them? Because the God of this world, that is Satan, has blinded you to the truth. You think you're okay, you think you won't be punished. You say God is wrong. And so it is true. He's loved you enough to send his son Jesus to die for you. Therefore, repent of your sins. Turn away from the mess. And trust in Jesus. And you will have life. You will be saved. And you come to know God. Another objection you might have in your own mind is, well, I think actually I'm quite a good person. The things that I do God is bound to be impressed with them. Well, why? Why is God going to be impressed by the good things that you do? 
what are you calling good? The Bible says that uh, uh, if you try and establish your own righteousness, that your righteousness is like filthy rags. So that's what it is to God, it means nothing to it. And yet still you try to say, well, I do good things. I'm kind to people. I give money to charity. If God saw me, he'd say, there goes a good person. Surely he can come into heaven. Would you make a mockery then of the sacrifice of Jesus? Why then did Jesus have to die? Why did the Son of God have to shed his blood if you're okay? Why then did Jesus die on the cross for the sins of the world? If you, if just you being good is good enough. It's not good enough. It will never be good enough. It has to be through the blood of Jesus that you are saved. It has to be by the grace of God and by faith in Jesus Christ that you are saved. Not by your own works. Your own works mean nothing as far as God is concerned. Now it's true that a Christian should do good things and should be kind to others and should give money to charity and all that. But that by itself will not save one single soul. The Bible is quite clear about that. It says salvation is by grace, through faith, not by words, lest anyone should boast. And the faith, even faith, itself is a gift of God. Perhaps you're a religious person today. Perhaps you believe in God. Maybe even you go to church. But of what value is that to you? You've never been born again by the Spirit of God. Jesus says, unless you are born again, unless you are born by God's Spirit, you will not enter into heaven. Jesus himself says that. Look it up in uh, the Gospel of John chapter 3. Look it up for yourself. Why then are you trying to establish a righteousness of your own? Why are you trying to do right things thinking that God will find you acceptable and let you into heaven? Do it every day of your life. For the next thousand years if you can live that long, it will never get you into heaven. Never, never, never. It's through the blood of Jesus Christ that we are saved. I'll say what I said at the beginning. God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that through Him the world might be saved. But if you ignore what Jesus has done, you reject that, then you stand condemned already. You've not accepted what Jesus has told you to do. You are only a hearer of the Word. You don't do what it says in the Bible says, I'm sorry, you stand condemned already. The judgment has gone out about these things. But still, God offers a pardon. Each and every person here today, everyone who is in the, within the sound of my voice, and I charge you today, each and every one of you who can hear me, who can hear these words, to take seriously what I'm saying to you. Repent of your sin and believe in Jesus Christ. Repent of your sin and have faith in Him. Turn from your sin and give your life to Him. And you will be saved. 